J.U.S.O. has been accused of abandoning Roman Reigns and the bloodline by a WWE star during Raw this week. The star has responded to the accusation as well. Gable and Jay were a part of the opening segment of WWE Raw and they took some shots at each other before coming to blows. Gable would end up running backstage, trying to avoid the different Wyatt Six members who were all appearing at different parts of the arena. Before that, Chad Gable felt that it should be J.U.S.O. who the Wyatt Six should target. He accused the star of abandoning his family, while Gable himself had been left high and dry by the Alpha Academy. Jay turned his back on Jimmy and Roman, as well as Sokoa, which has made it easy for Solo to take over the group. Come to think of it, I'm an innocent man. My family left me high and dry. They should be after you, Yus, J.U.S.O., the man who abandoned his family. The star was interrupted by Gable's attack before he could finish, but USO's intent was clear. He insulted the former Intercontinental title contender and called out Reigns by comparing him to the star. He said that Otis, Maxine, and Akira Tozawa getting out from under Gable was similar to how he had escaped the bloodline and Roman Reigns. You want to talk about family, the only thing your family did is what I did. To get out from under a manipulative scumbag like you're. J.U.S.O.'s absence from the bloodline has seen a complete takeover by Solo Sokoa while Roman Reigns is away. When Roman Reigns stepped away from the ring after WrestleMania, things changed for the bloodline. Jimmy U.S.O. was left alone with Solo Sokoa, as Jay had left the family earlier. This made it very easy for Sokoa to bring in Tama Tonga and eliminate Jimmy from the group. Things went even further, as he was able to bring in Tonga Loa, and in the latest edition, Jacob Fatu. The team now looks nothing like it did before, with even the wise man Paul Heyman destroyed by the faction. Had J.U.S.O. been present in the group, the takeover would not have been quite so easy. The turning point J.U.S.O. stood backstage, the roar of the crowd still echoing through the corridors of the arena. The fallout from the latest SmackDown episode had left the WWE Universe buzzing, but for Jay, the noise seemed distant, almost muffled. The accusation that had been hurled at him moments ago reverberated in his mind more than any cheer or jeer ever could. It had been none other than Seth Rollins, the ever-charismatic architect, who had stepped into the ring and called out Jay. With a sly smile and a mic in hand, Seth had spun a narrative that painted Jay as a deserter, a traitor to the very family that had given him his platform. J.U.S.O., Seth had started, his voice dripping with condescension, the man who turned his back on Roman Reigns. The man who walked away when things got tough. You call yourself the right-hand man? Seems to me like you're more of a right-hand turn. The crowd's reaction was a mix of gasps and boos, with a few cheers thrown in from those who loved the drama. Jay had been in the locker room, watching the monitor, his jaw clenched tighter with every word. Seth's accusations were not just professional slights, they cut deep into the heart of Jay's identity, his loyalty to his family. As the segment ended and the cameras cut away, Jay knew he couldn't let this slide. He had to respond, and he had to do it now. Minutes later, Jay's music hit, and he strode out to the ring with purpose. The crowd's energy shifted, sensing the gravity of the moment. He grabbed a mic and looked out over the sea of faces, then up to the titantron where Seth's smug face was still lingering. Seth Rollins, Jay began, his voice steady but laced with anger, you got a lot of nerve coming out here and questioning my loyalty. You think you know me? You think you know what I've been through? He paced the ring, eyes blazing. Let me tell you something about family, Seth. Family is about more than just standing next to someone when the cameras are on. It's about being there through the good times and the bad. It's about making the hard choices, even when they don't make sense to anyone else. The crowd was hanging on his every word. This was a side of Jay they rarely saw, raw and unfiltered. Roman Reigns is my blood, my cousin, my family. Everything I've done, I've done with the intent of making our family stronger. But sometimes, Seth, sometimes the strongest thing you can do is step away to protect the ones you love from themselves. There was a pause as Jay let his words sink in, both for the audience and for Seth, wherever he was watching from backstage. 
You want to talk about abandoning people? Let's talk about you, Seth Rollins. Let's talk about how many times you've stabbed people in the back for your own gain. The Shield, remember them? How about Kevin Owens? You left him high and dry more times than I can count. The crowd reacted with a mix of gasps and applause. Jay had hit a nerve, and he knew it. Seth, you compare me to you, but there is no comparison. I've fought for my family, I've bled for them, and I've made sacrifices you can't even begin to understand. So don't you dare question my loyalty. Jay dropped the mic, his message clear. He wasn't going to let anyone, not even a former champion like Seth Rollins, question his dedication to his family. The crowd erupted, their cheers a cathartic release of the tension that had been building. Backstage, Seth watched the monitor, his face a mix of surprise and respect. He hadn't expected such a passionate response, but then again, J.U.S.O. was full of surprises. As the night went on, Jay felt a strange sense of relief. He had stood up for himself and his family in a way he never had before. The accusations had stung, but they had also ignited a fire in him that he hadn't felt in a long time. The following week on SmackDown, the anticipation was palpable. The WWE Universe wanted to see what would happen next. Seth Rollins was scheduled for a match, and as he made his way to the ring, he couldn't help but acknowledge the elephant in the room. Before his match began, Seth grabbed a mic J.U.S.O., he said, his tone more serious than usual, you made your point last week. And as much as it pains me to admit it, I respect that. But don't think for a second that I'm backing down. The crowd roared in approval, sensing the continuation of a storyline that had gripped them all. Seth wasn't one to back down, and neither was Jay. Their confrontation had set the stage for a clash that was about more than titles or accolades. It was about pride, loyalty, and respect. As Seth's match progressed, the crowd's excitement never waned. They knew this was just the beginning. Jay watched from backstage, a steely resolve in his eyes. He knew he had to stay vigilant, to keep fighting not just for himself, but for his family. In the weeks that followed, the tension between Jay and Seth only grew. Their interactions were electric, each promo and match adding layers to their story. The WWE Universe was captivated, their emotions riding the highs and lows of this intense rivalry. Jay knew that the path ahead wouldn't be easy. He would have to face not only Seth Rollins, but also the scrutiny of the entire WWE Universe. But he was ready. He had found his voice, his purpose, and he wasn't going to let anyone take that away from him. The culmination of their feud came at SummerSlam, where Jay Uso and Seth Rollins faced off in a match that would be remembered for years. The intensity, the emotion, and the sheer willpower on display were a testament to their skills and their passion. In the end, Jay emerged victorious, his hand raised high in triumph. But more than the win, it was the respect he had earned from Seth, from the fans, and most importantly, from himself, that mattered. As he stood in the ring, the crowd chanting his name, J.U.S.O. knew that he had proven his loyalty, his strength, and his heart. And in that moment, he was not just a member of the bloodline, not just a WWE superstar, he was a warrior who had fought and won his own personal battle.